Civil Engineering Test Surveying and Leveling MCQs Part 2 Question number 1 Which of the following methods of contouring is most suitable for a hilly terrain? Option A, Direct Method Option B, Square Method Option C, Cross Sections Method Option D, Tachymetric Method Answer is Option D, Tachymetric Method Question number 2 The size of a plane table is Option A, 750 mm by 900 mm Option B, 600 mm by 750 mm Option C, 450 mm by 600 mm Option D, 300 mm by 450 mm Answer is Option B 600 mm by 750 mm Question number 3 the smaller horizontal angle between the true meridian and a survey line, is known. Option A, declination. Option B, bearing. Option C, azimuth. Option D, dip. Answer is option C, azimuth. Question number 4. Check lines, or proof lines, in chain surveying, are essentially required. Option A, to plot the chain lines. Option B, to plot the offsets. Option C, to indicate the accuracy of the survey work. Option D, to increase the out. Turn. Answer is option C, to indicate the accuracy of the survey work. Question number 5. In direct method of contouring, the process of locating or identifying points lying on a contour is called. Option A, ranging. Option B, Centering. Option C, Horizontal Control. Option D, Vertical Control. Answer is Option D, Vertical Control. Question number 6. Detailed plotting is generally done by Option A, Radiation. Option B, Traversing. Option C, Resection. Option D, All of the above. Answer is Option. A. Radiation. Question number 7. The two point problem and three point problem are methods of Option A. Resection. Option B. Orientation. Option C. Traversing. Option D. Resection and orientation. Answer is Option D. Resection and orientation. Question number 8. Volume of the earthwork may be calculated by Option A, mean areas. Option B, end areas. Option C, trapezoidal. Option D, all the above. Answer is option D, all the above. Question number 9. Overturning of vehicles on a curve can be avoided by using. Option A, compound curve. Option B, vertical curve. Option C, reverse curve. Option D, Transition curve. Answer is option D. Transition curve. Question number 10. Chain surveying is well adopted for. Option A. Small areas in open ground. Option B. Small areas with crowded details. Option C. Large areas with simple details. Option D. Large areas with difficult details. Answer is. Option A. Small areas in open ground. Question number 11. Tilt of the staff in stadia tachyometry increases the intercept if it is. Option A, away from the telescope pointing downhill. Option B, towards the telescope pointing up. Hill. Option C, away from the telescope pointing up. Hill. Option D, none of these. Answer is option C away from the telescope pointing up hill question number 12 hydrographic surveys deal with the mapping of option a large water bodies option b heavenly bodies option c mountainous region option d canal system answer is option a large water bodies 
Question number 13. Straight, parallel, and widely spaced contours represent. Option A, a steep surface. Option B, a flat surface. Option C, an inclined plane surface. Option D, curved surface. Answer is option C, an inclined plane surface. Question number 14. For a tachometer the additive and multiplying constants are respectively. Option A, 0 and 100. Option B, 100 and 0. Option C, 0 and 0. Option D, 100 and 100. Answer is option A, 0 and 100. Question number 15. An imaginary line lying throughout on the surface of the earth and preserving a constant. Inclination to the horizontal, is called. Option A, contour line. Option B, contour gradient. Option C, level line. Option D, line of gentle scope. Answer is option B, contour gradient. Question number 16. The properties of autogenous curve for automobiles are given by. Option A, true spiral. Option B, cubic parabola. Option C, Bernoulli's lemnus gate. Option D, clotoid spiral. Answer is option C, Bernoulli's lemnus gate. Question number 17. The curve composed of two arcs of different radii having their centers on the opposite side of the curve, is known. Option A, a simple curve. Option B, a compound curve. Option C, a reverse curve. Option D, a vertical curve answer is option C a reverse curve question number 18 it is more difficult to obtain good results while measuring horizontal distance by stepping option a uphill option B downhill option C in low undulations option D in plain areas answer is option a uphill Question number 19. Which of the following methods of plane table surveying is used to locate the position of an inaccessible point? Option A, radiation. Option B, intersection. Option C, traversing. Option D, resection. Answer is option B, intersection. Question number 20. The bearings of the lines of NBC are 146 degree 30 minutes and 68 degree 30 minutes. The included angle ABC is Option A, 102 degree Option B, 78 degree Option C, 45 degree Option D, none of these. Answer is Option A, 102 degree Thanks for watching video.